Boy, we had some wind yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. Kind of a tough transition here. But yeah, yesterday we saw gusts up to 46 miles an hour here in Albuquerque. Oof. Sustained winds were anywhere between 25 and 35 miles an hour at times. You saw the blowing dust. You saw the tumbleweeds. The good news this morning, Todd, is those winds are starting to improve. So while good. we are still seeing some of those windy conditions out there, still have that wind advisory across northeast New Mexico, things are going to be better today. But it is going to be cooler. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We are clear around New Mexico to start on this Good Friday, really not expecting any moisture today at least. Through the weekend, this cold front already dropped into New Mexico. So ahead of it was the wind. Saw that Wednesday, Thursday. Now we're dealing with the cold temperatures behind it. Here's the deal, though. We are going to see chances of moisture Saturday night into Sunday. So here in the next couple of days, it could be on and off, but it's nothing to interrupt any of your travel plans or outdoor plans. Take a look at the temperatures to start. 49 here in Albuquerque, so mild, light jacket needed. 50s around southern New Mexico. Then up where those places we're seeing the the wind 30s, 32 right now in Angel Fire. We have 28 in Grants, Gallup cold as well at freezing, 33 in Farmington. As we go through the day, those temperatures again a lot cooler than what we've seen the last couple of days, only getting into the 60s here in the metro area. Here's those winds. I'm going to step out of the way, pick out your location, and we're really going through the whole weekend, calling it breezy to windy today, tomorrow, Sunday. Wind, though, concerns will really pop up again as we hit Monday and Tuesday. Those are the windier days in the next seven or so. Uh, high fire danger will continue, blowing dust possible in some of those rural locations. Here's future cast. We were just talking about the chances for some moisture, and you can see, again, this is late Saturday night going into Sunday. Real brief that we're going to see any returns on the radar. That's if this pops up at all. At this point, it's just looking like some possible instability in our atmosphere that we could see some of this pop up into Sunday. It is looking dry. It is looking clear. So if you're headed to church services early for Easter Sunday, shouldn't be an issue. Grandma's house travels, not going to be an issue either. Temperatures today across the southeast, a better glance at them. 70s across Eddy County, 73 in Roswell, a little bit cooler toward Ruido. So it was windy there yesterday. 59 for you today. It'll be breezy into the afternoon. Across the southwest, this is what we're looking at. 70s again. 79 in Deming, 79 in Lordsburg, 69 in Silver City. Overnight looking for the 40s. Those temperatures really sticking around. Through the weekend. 60 in Shipwreck for today, 62, 64 in Grants and Gallup across that I 40 corridor. Not too bad into the afternoon. Again, breezy uh, conditions will be the case. So, blowing dust might be popping up in some of those rural locations. Just watch for some reduced vis visibility. It will stay dry for you through the weekend. 58 in Santa Fe for today, 68 in Espanola. Espanola, let's try that again, Angela. Red River at 54 today. And those temperatures overnight, really cold. We're looking at 20s and 30s. So, a bundle up kind of morning if you're headed out early. 65 in Moriarty for today, 50s across the Las Vegas area. Breezy to windy conditions for you, but a lot better than what we saw yesterday. And in the metro area, similar conditions here where it's going to be cooler, less wind into the weekend. Sunny skies continuing there. Clear conditions as well. So here's your 12 hour planner. We'll start this weekend off again with the 60s, sunny skies as we go through tomorrow, as we go through Sunday, continuing with clear conditions, but that wind really sticking around. Around 70s into next week. Pollen count, we have really high levels, you guys, of mulberry on the east side. We're at an extreme level there. High levels of ash pretty much citywide.